Music was one of the primary entertainments in the 17th century in a typical Dutch city. You had city musicians who would often give performances in the town hall. There was music in the taverns. There was music in the church. But I think that most people enjoyed musical performances in their own homes. As we see now, the strength of Dutch art does not lie in its history pieces, as it does in its still lives, landscapes, portraits, and genre painting. Similarly, the strength of Dutch music does not lie in the intricate and formal setting or Baroque compositions, but in the simplest of all genres, the song simply being enjoyed in the home. This musical strength lay in the sheer delight in singing found among people of all classes, in an appetite for music that was fed and stilled not so much by composers as by poets. And it was the same people who were consumed by a desire for painting and who bought them for their homes. Jans Peter Zoon Swelink is one of the most infamous musicians of the Dutch Golden Age. He was not a classical organist and did not serve regular ceremonial occasions of the city magistrate. Swelink was actually a civil servant employed by the city of Amsterdam. This is a recording of a piece by Swelink titled Pavana Lacrimae. Although Dutch people loved to be entertained by musicians in their home, they also enjoyed to play instruments themselves. Playing music in the privacy of one's home took place regularly, especially in smaller towns and cities where there were fewer public concerts. Even the lower and peasant classes took advantage of weddings, occasions, and feasts. These events were subjects of many Dutch genre paintings. lesson could also act as a representation of Vermeer's own experience working in the home, being that the artist's workshop was often in the home, surrounded by family. Thus, this portrayal of a man and woman alongside one another is very symbolic of the Dutch painter's experience. This work gives an insight into the notion of the private world of the home that emerged in this time period, allowing for courtship shown in this work, but more importantly, a new level of religious toleration. Privacy is depicted in the fact that the backs of the man and woman are turned inwards to their personal moment. Music being a private entity, we are not invited into the activity. We, the viewer, are personally excluded. This notion of privacy is reinforced by the easel leg we see in the mirror behind the woman's face. Even though we see the woman's face in the mirror, she still does not interact with us. The easel leg also refers to Vermeer's presence in the scene. However, not being shown outside the mirror once again excludes him and the viewers from the moment. Because the Dutch Reformed Church did not require membership by law, there was a degree of freedom of conscience. This meant that dissenters could believe as they wished. What this meant in reality, culturally and not by law, was that they could practice their religion privately as long as they kept the appearance of religious homogeneity. 